Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan spoke to journalists on his flight en route to Turkey from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus on Thursday. President Erdogan evaluated his three-day golf tour and Turkey's foreign policy engagements. We focused on important and comprehensive cooperation projects with a win-win understanding. Our cooperation with these countries will grow stronger with concrete projects in the coming period. Hopefully, we will see the positive effects of this on our economy as soon as possible. We will rapidly implement the issues we have decided in areas such as defense industry, energy, tourism and contracting. As part of its general perspective towards the Gulf, Turkey strives to increase its political, economic, social and cultural cooperation and engagement with regional countries to the largest extent possible. Turkey's vision for its future with the Arab countries is to develop social, economic and cultural interaction within a politically and security-wise stable environment and on the basis of a win-win principle. During my private meeting with the leaders during this Gulf visit, I saw that the step we took regarding Egypt pleased them seriously. Developing relations with Egypt will significantly increase our economic potential. There are also the steps we have taken with Libya in terms of natural gas. I'm hoping to pay a visit to Libya. Together with Libya, we may be able to organize a visit to some countries in North Africa. Turkey has been seeking to normalize its relationships with several countries in the Middle East. The Turkish and Israeli decision-makers have accelerated their efforts in order to mend bilateral ties between their countries. Next week, we will host Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and then Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We are making contact with Netanyahu for the first time. It is my hope that this development will be the beginning of a much warmer period in Turkey-Israel relations. Natural gas shipments from the Mediterranean to Europe are very expensive in terms of costs. Here, the healthiest project is to have natural gas reach Europe via Turkey. Turkey has deep-rooted political, economic, military and cultural relations with the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Due to its historical and cultural bonds, Turkey attaches utmost importance to the security and welfare of the Turkish Cypriot people. We opened the new terminal building and runway of Erjan Airport. We shared our stance and suggestions on the solution of the Cyprus issue with the whole world. While working for the security, welfare and well-being of the Turkish Cypriot people, we will continue our diplomatic efforts for the island to achieve a lasting and just peace. Turkey and the United Nations brokered the Black Sea Grain Initiative with Russia and Ukraine in early 2022 to help tackle a global food crisis. The termination of the Black Sea Grain Initiative will have serious effects ranging from increasing global prices in some regions to famine and then new waves of migration. We are not hesitating to take the initiative to prevent this. I believe that by discussing the issue in detail with Putin, we will ensure the continuation of this humanitarian movement. Turkey dropped its objections to Sweden joining NATO last week. Turkey and Sweden have now agreed to establish a so-called security compact on fighting terrorism and Stockholm promised to support Ankara's bid to become a member of the European Union. We will follow the promises and guarantees given by the Swedish side in our meetings. We will take action according to the steps that Sweden will take. The membership of Turkey to the European Union, which has the second strongest army in NATO and is the locomotive of NATO, will also add vitality and strength to the Union. It will be in Sweden's favour if Sweden takes concrete steps in the fight against terrorist organisations and extradition of terrorists, which our country focuses on sensitively.